All right, good evening, folks. This is K5LY, and my name's Lynn. We get together here on Wednesday evenings and talk about vintage radios. A lot of us are on vacuum tubes. Some folks are on hybrids. Some folks come by on modern radios, and anybody is welcome that's interested in what we're doing. Buy, sell, trades. Let's keep those limited to vintage radios. And uh, if you have a problem with a radio and want some technical advice, this is a great place to ask for some advice. Let's see if anybody needs this frequency for any further use before we talk. K5LYN. Apparently not. All right. Let me talk about the radio I've got going here tonight. I've been on the net many times with the cheap and easy SSB built by KG7TR, uh, and it's the finest example of a homebrew, a homebrew radio that's been built uh, probably in the uh, 21st century. And uh, there was one issue with it, uh, the, the, the World War II aircraft VFO that's a part of it. I always kind of struggled with it to get it as close as I wanted. So uh, when we went to the uh, Central Electronics Gathering Winterfest up near St. Louis this past winter, I bought a really nice-looking TR-3 with the outboard TR-3 VFO. So I thought, why don't I put that uh, TR-3 VFO, which is actually a PTO, on this cheap and easy, and let's see how that does. So I'm using that tonight, and we'll get a recording. Thank you, Matt, for being there. I got a text from him. He's around. So we'll look forward to the recording. All right. Uh, let me say this. There's several uh, earlies here on the frequency. I'm going to pick up some of them, then I'm going to give it to Jay, then I'm going to give it to Rusty. Uh, if you didn't get picked up as an early uh, and you think you're forgotten about, jump in here and let us know that you're here before we start talking about another people, a lot of other check-ins that we didn't know were here. I'm going to talk to uh, WB1E. I'm going to talk to CXG, TXW, YMF, BTM, WOC, then I'm going to give it to Jay. So, WB1E. Hey, Doug, you still there? K5LYN. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the, the best hour of the week here on the Boat Anchors Net. This is Doug, WB1E, and Brian. And uh, I'm talking tonight on uh, a Swan 500. And uh, not doing a ton of power, probably 500 watts. Um, just playing around with the uh, with the amplifier there, so uh, uh, running a couple three five hundreds, but uh, just barely driving them. I think I'm getting it down about forty watts, maybe maybe sixty something like that. But anyway, the uh, inverted B at one hundred feet. So uh, that's the run down here, and everybody sounded really good, and no atmospheric noise. Knock on wood. Back to net. Doug, you always have one of the best signals on the net uh, week after week. And there's some irony there. You know, about the Swan 500, if you get it maxed out, peaked up top dog, uh, it'll put out 300 watts. And that's what I'm putting out of this Johnson Viking Courier 2811As, 300 watts. That just shows how, how cool Swan was. Any last comments, Doug? Yeah, I had to put in a pair of bad finals in order to get it low enough to use my amplifier. So, oh, wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Take care, Lynn. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Uh, okay, good to hear you, Doug. Beautiful signal. How about KA5CXG? How about it, Bob? Yes, sir. Uh, KA5CXG. I'm here in hot San Angelo, over 101 degrees. All that kind of good stuff. Not doing any antenna work outside, I can guarantee you that. At least not in the daytime. Wouldn't go out there at night. No problem. But uh, other than that, everything's rolling along pretty good. Uh, don't have anything, no new gear. Uh, rolling along with the same old gear, 520, uh, all that kind of sort of thing. And that's about it. Everybody have a good week. Catch you all next week. Okay, Okay, Bob, yeah, the band is beginning to open up. I hear you a lot better than I did a while ago when we were trying to talk, uh, but uh, you're still being competed with by the uh, whatever kind of noise I've got going on here. Starts at 4 p.m. every afternoon. CXW, talk to us, George. Hello, Lynn, and all around the net from WB5TXW for the finest hour of amateur radio for the week. So I'm on the uh, Collins gear, S-Line 32S175S3. Everything with the exception of the amplifier, usual antenna, usual microphone, and uh, not too much atmospherics tonight. Lynn, everything is pretty much status quo. Been doing all the walking and... Uh, Healthy, we ought to cross paths some morning. What time's your walk? Mine's usually about uh, 
uh, nine nine to nine thirty to ten thirty. Well, you know, I was an on call programmer, so after a while, time had no meaning. I get up in the morning, drink a strong mug of coffee when I'm ready to tap dance. I go. I don't have a regular schedule. Over. Okay, yeah, well, Georgia takes her walk, then I take mine. So, all right, we'll talk about it. Good to hear you, George. Rig sounding great. Anything else on your end? However, I will say I'm carrying around a talkie on the uh, the, the local repeater. And uh, I call for you once in a while, but alas, you are not there. W-B-5-T-H-W, back to net. Well, my ICOM 706 Mark II G forgot how to talk on UHF and VHF. I'm still working on it. Hey, K5EF, I forgot you're on the list, Nick. Let me let me talk to two more people, three more people, then I'll call you. Okay, I promised I'd talk to Barry. YMF, talk to us, Barry. How you doing, Lynn? Thanks for picking me up. Uh, I'm on my uh, my Swan 500C this afternoon, and uh, uh, got my same old dipole still hanging in the trees, about 35 feet up there. And uh, just enjoying the net. I missed a, missed a few in a row there. And uh, uh, the signal sounds great this evening. I can hear a lot of people. But uh, anyway, enjoying this, uh, enjoying this fancy radio. Uh, a lot of fun. Kept five while I'm back to net. Very fine, Barry. Yeah, you and WB1E, that's the other Drake, um, the other Swan 500. And if you heard him, you know how sound, how good they sound. Good to hear you, Barry. All right, N5BTM. What about it, Ralph? K5LYN. Yeah, K5LYN, this is N5BTM. Uh, good afternoon there, Lynn, and all the net. Handle here is Ralph. We're located in Spring, uh, about 30 miles north of the sanctuary city of Houston. And I thought I'd give you guys on the Central Electronics a break tonight. So we're using the old uh, Heath kit. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> we're using the uh, Kenwood uh, TS520. And that is driving a uh, homebrew uh, amplifier using a single 3500. And we're putting out about 500 watts. And that's going into a trap dipole antenna. 444 microphone, uh, Drake MN 2700 tuner. Uh, pretty warm down here uh, in the north part of Harris County today. 97, 98 degrees, and it's slowly cooling off. So, uh, back to you there, Lynn. Take 5 lyn and 5 btm you know, the, the 520 sounds great, Ralph, and there's there's hundreds of them still on the air. Do those things ever go bad? I hope not, and I don't think they do. I don't either. <laughs> They're amazing. All right, Ralph, great to hear you. All right, let's see what WOC's got to say. What do you say, Dan? Over to you. Yeah, good evening, Lynn, and all the boat anchor aficionados. Uh, this is Dan, KWOZ, downtown Houston. It's in the middle of downtown where it is, uh, let's see, 96 degrees yet, even this late in the evening. Uh, just running a Kenwood uh, 830 that uh, kind of rebuilt, and uh, he driving a uh, Kenwood 922, Aero 3500Zs, the microphone's an MC50, and the antenna's a two-band bazooka up there about 42 feet or so. That's about it. Just all kinds of projects going on here. Uh, still working on re on building that uh, heat kit amplifier from the ground up, uh, which has been a lot of fun. But, uh, you know, there are a few missing parts here and there. You just got to compromise or go buy them. No big deal. Anyway, uh, hoping another week or so we'll have that on the air. That's about it from here, Lynn. Thanks very much for letting us sneak in. K-A-W-O-Z. What a fun project, Dan. When you get that finished, uh, send me a picture sometime. Uh, we don't uh, we don't get to see those projects done very often. Good to hear you. Anything else on your end this evening? No. Oh, one real quick thing. If I can remember, Friday evenings at 7.30 right here on 3870, we're going to try and resurrect the old Friday night 3870 Traders Net. I'm sure it'll take a few weeks for it to, uh, uh, to take hold, but uh, since there are no more... Uh, uh, what do you call it, ham fest for the foreseeable future. Your only alternate is eBay or the, the standard QTH and QRZ websites so for selling, but 
Uh, I think we're going to try and resurrect that 3870 Traders Net again right here at 7.30 on Friday, if I can remember. KWOZ. Thanks, Lynn. I'll probably come around, Dan. You know, Friday used to be our time to walk to dinner and live music, all within walking distance from our house. And now there's not any places for dinner or live music, no matter how far you walk in Austin. So we'll probably be around. Good to hear you. All right, K5EF. How about it, Nick? K5LYN. Hello, Lynn and Nanette. This is K5EF. Uh, I was just over at uh, David W5XU's house this afternoon. He's heavily working on <laughs> on uh, rebuilding two little great 2B receivers and also a, um, a Johnson uh, Invader 200 that he picked up. And a hand fest uh, over this way for uh, uh, the princely sum of 25 bucks. <laughs> I mean, it actually does look pretty good. Um, and I'm working on um, uh, putting together a 100 feet that, that I got, actually, I believe I got it at Delton a few years ago. And uh, it's coming along pretty well. I should have it operational in a week. Well, that's the latest over here. Nothing new. I'm running the KWM2 and the 30 l one tonight, guys. Yeah, Sounds great, Nick. And I, by the way, I have an ongoing uh, uh, bet. I used to have an Invader 2000. My experience with it was so bad, I've always said, if anybody can actually get one on the air and check into a net on frequency, I'll buy them dealers. So pass that on to David, will you? Oh, okay. Well, that, that's certainly a challenge. Yeah, they're, they're pretty bad. I <laughs> wish him good luck. Uh, but uh, and, and be careful around that high voltage. Great to hear you, Nick. Anything else for the net this evening? No, I'm good. Y'all uh, all have good signals tonight. 73. By the way, did you hear what I'm saying? What I said earlier? This is a cheap and easy SSB, uh, but uh, powered up by, excited by the Drake uh, RV3 VFO I picked up at Winterfest. Oh, yeah, you said you were going to try to get that going. Well, you haven't moved, so you're sounding good. Yeah, I, I think it beats the World War II uh, aircraft VFO. <laughs> so we're going to listen to the recording uh, in the morning, most likely. Okay, Jay, uh, KM5QS, talk to him, K5LYN. Okay, Oops. okay, Lynn. I've, uh, <laughs> I've decided that uh, my, um, uh, I know what my problem is with the speakers. I mean, with the headphones, but anyway, I'll figure that out later. Uh, let me see who we've got out here. First on my list, oh, first of all, I'm on the set of Kenwood Twins this evening, and um, I'm driving the 922 amplifier by Kenwood, so I finally have a complete Kenwood station. No alphas are involved. The only thing out of place is the electric voice microphone, so I don't... Uh, it's a little easier to manipulate the, the power out with this than it is the MC50. All right. KG5BZ. Ron, are you still out there? Contact. Well, I guess not. How about KG5WLS? Go ahead, Jimmy. Contact. Well, it's still in here, Jay, but I'm just listening. KC5 WLF. Oh, okay. So I was going to give you a chance to check. Um, <laughs> let me. Um, well, it would help if I was pushed down on the foot feet. Um, okay, W5 FPT. How about you, Paul? Hey, uh, Jay and all the uh, uh, boat anchor people out there, good evening. This is Paul from Jasper, Texas, W5FPT, or Forever Paying Taxes. And uh, this evening we're running a uh, Kenwood TS 530S through a uh, heat kit 2068 tuner into a uh, uh, SP200. And we're doing about... Uh, about 700 watts this evening into a homebrew mini loop up at 55 foot. Everyone's sounding good. Good to, good to see everybody uh, on tonight. A lot of people, so I won't, I won't keep it. Jay, thanks for picking me up, and y'all have a good one. W5FPT. All righty, Paul. No problem. We'll see you next week, if not before. Roger, okay, Roger. let me see here. WW9W. I'll get all them W's out. Come on, Robert. 
That's why we're having so much fun with them. But uh, anyway, thank you, sir, and we'll catch you later. Uh, N5, D-A-R, Mike, go ahead. Well, good evening, Jay. I'm on the, uh, I'm, I'm not on the boat anchor. I have the uh, 520 Sugar Station out there in the shop that I haven't been on in quite a while because it's just been too blamed hot to be out there. So I'm on the uh, non-SDR uh, radio tonight, and everybody sounding really good. I uh, I have everything on that station now except for the 6-meter transverter. I'm still looking for one of those, but, you know, one of these days I'll find one. Uh, at any rate, uh, I have th- they they make a controller now for this Anon. I didn't know it, but I have one ordered, so uh, this should be a lot of fun too. Uh, getting off into the new stuff, but I'm still working on the old uh, uh, eight eight thirteen the rack mount. Or, uh, yeah, the eight thirteen rack mount. It still works. Put a kilowatt out on the air in a heartbeat. Had the eight eleven. Uh, the 520 Sugar and a bunch of old, old, old boat anchor stuff that's not even listed. Uh, <laughs> I'm not going to work on it right now. It's too hot. Anyway, thanks for letting me in here. And uh, good evening to everybody on the net 73. And have a great evening from N5DAR. All right. Good deal there, Mike. We'll see you next time. And good luck with all that stuff. And uh, those 6 meter transporters, the CV 506 is. Uh, they're they're just a little bit scarcer than hen's teeth, I think, but there's probably some out there somewhere. You'll find it. You'll find it sooner or later. If I hear one or see one, I'll let you know. Um, I haven't in a while, but anyway. All righty. And this is KM5QS with the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net, and next on my list is uh, some, some fellow named Byron, I believe, Whiskey Alpha 5, Edward David X-Ray. Contact. Are you out there, Byron? Yeah, I am. Uh, TLJ, uh, I think you need to, uh, to check in and run, so go ahead. I'll pick you up. I was, um, I was just going to check in and uh, I'm looking for a great T4 that you know everybody's got one. Uh, what was that? A Drake TR what? A Drake T4. Oh, a T4 transmitter. Looking for a T4 transmitter. And uh, what was the call again? Whiskey 5 Tango Lima Juliet. Whiskey 5 Tango Lima Juliet is looking for a T4 transmitter. Are you good on QRZ? Yes, I am. Okay, I hope somebody heard that besides me. Hi, hi. This is Byron in Bluffdale, beautiful Bluffdale, where it's, uh, man, pushing in the mid-90s, I guess, today, but uh, we don't even want to talk about the heat index. Humidity was uh, up quite high. We've had high humidity here in North Texas the last uh, couple of weeks. And I know we've had a record, uh, or a three-year record, uh, uh, for high humidity in the DFW area last week for uh, for dew point. So uh, it's feeling like I'm back in uh, back home in East Texas, which uh, I don't enjoy. Hi, hi. Oh, back to Riggs uh, on the Kenwood TS520 tonight. One of the old favorites, and I'm barefoot. The band's sounding pretty good. So I didn't want to add any heat out here in the barn tonight. Uh, 
Yeah, it's hot enough, and I only turned the little window unit on out here a couple hours ago, so uh, just trying to stay cool. MC-50 Mike, same old inverted V, up about 35 feet. Good to hear all the usual suspects out there. Back to you, Jay. Thanks for picking me up. Thanks for running the net, everybody. WA5EDX. Okay, Byron. Uh, that's a good deal. What uh, Did he say a TR-4 or a TX-4? Uh, I've seen that transmitter, like so that. I assume it's got to be a TX-4. Transmitter. Okay, one at a time. TX-4. TX-4 transmitter. Okay, all righty. I'm just making a note. Thank you, Byron. All righty. Um, let me see. Well, Rusty, that's, uh, that's about five or six for me, so uh, go ahead, sir. Uh, WK5R, km 5 qs All right, Jay. Uh, let me get this whole frequency here. Like Donald Duck. Just check it here. Hello. Hello. Okay. Okay. Right there. There we go. That ought to be closer. All right. This is WK5R, and we're on the usual HT37 helicopter. Transmitter using a 706 Mark IIG for the receiver. And driving the Homebrew GS35B amplifier. The microphone is the Audio Technica Studio mic uh, into the fan dipole at about 50 feet. Putting out about a uh, kilowatt or 1100 watts. Then we're right along in there. So he's working. All right, and it's. Uh, uh, Topped out at 95 degrees today. Right now it's 89 degrees. 84 uh, percent humidity. It feels like 112. Somebody said don't say that, but I did anyway. Anyhow, the uh, rest of the morning is unlimited. Come now. Kilo Echo 5, Quebec. KZ5Q. K5, Lima, Romeo, X-ray. Okay, I got uh, two there. Uh, KE5Q, go ahead, Jim. Yes, Rusty, this is Kilo Echo 5, Quebec. Jim and Plano. And uh, I guess we can say ditto on what we're running tonight, same as Robert. Uh, uh, they are uh, WW9W. So this is the KWM2 uh, round emblem into the 30L1 round emblem into the uh, double bazooka 8040 Ultimax, and we're using the uh, Sure 444. And that's what we're on tonight. And more of the band is in great shape. And uh, Byron, you're sounding good on that 520. It's doing a good job. Back to Nets, uh, KE5Q Palano. All right, Jim. Yeah, station sounds great there. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see here. There was a station with L in the suffix. I, I didn't write it down, so I forgot it. You there, sir? Go ahead. K5LRX. Oh, good, Jack. Hey, okay. All right, thank you, Rusty. I appreciate you picking me up. Yeah, this is a, it's a new, sort of newish girlfriend. Uh, it's a uh, ICOM IC uh, 751A. Uh, it was a contribution from Sammy out of his... Uh, out of his excess, how can we say it in the in the most uh, respectful and uh, honorable terms? Out of his collection of wonderful devices, that uh, I needed a uh, a little box that I could carry to here and there and everywhere. So the 751A came to life. It had a little read relay challenge that uh, we fixed, and and uh, it's just a dandy little device. It's gone through a 5x3 uh, uh, switcher box, uh, isolation switcher box with a, it's on uh, inter, uh, um, uh, intermediate relay. It switches the uh, 3 3-500Z three LK550 linear with a good old Ultimax. I, everybody, you know, I just love this antenna, you know, dual band, 80 and 40. And it works on uh, 80 and 40 without a tuner, so you can't fight that. You got if you go way down, you know, way down on 70, on on 80 actually, down 37, 50 kind of area. You gotta you gotta put a tuner on it. But other than that, it works great. The microphone is SM20. That's Mary Nieces. So I feel uh, honored to have uh, a little piece of of uh, Texas ham radio legacy. 
And, uh, you know, here I live in Austin, Texas, and fortunately I live on the hill, so I'm, I'm uh, far enough away from uh, the, uh, <laughs> so let's just say I'm far enough away that it looks pretty good. You know, it looks, it looks good from 10,000 feet. So here you go. Hey, fine, all right. Thanks, Charlie, for picking me up. Okay, the 751A sounds good there. All right, uh, who else for the Bonehacker Unlimited come now? Good evening, India Sierra. Okay, go ahead, Doug. Yeah, good afternoon. I'm running late uh, today. I just got out of the yard mowing it. Uh, man, that stuff is growing faster than I could. It. But I'm on uh, 8.30 tonight, and... Uh, also going through uh, SB 1000 and uh, and the Mosa Max uh, double bazooka seems like most everybody's throwing them tonight. Could have got anything else. Appreciate you. Be fine, guys. All right, uh, Doug, the 830 sounds good now. And uh, the 1000 is putting out. So we'll catch you next time. Who else for Bodangers Unlimited come now? W-5-O-M-R. Uh, okay, W-5-O-M-R. Go ahead, Jeff. Uh, about the fourth time I'll probably check in. Hello, Rusty and uh, Jay and uh, Lynn. Everybody, W5OMR, and tonight I am on the Viking 2 AM transmitter. And I'm feeding the uh, output, very little bit of it, um, from the TS2000 into the VFO input of the Viking 2, so we're frequency agile. And I've got it paired up with the RT74D receiver, uh, otherwise known as the Helicopter SX73. And we're reduced the output of the Viking 2 by kicking in the 160 million capacitor and getting about 15 or 17 watts out uh, by re-dipping the final and, and feeding that into the Drake L7 for about 200 watts of carrier. So it ought to be somewhere around 800 watts PET output uh, into the uh, full uh, wave delta loop up at 50 foot AC. Well, that's what we got going on here, uh, Rusty. Just to hear you and everybody else on the net. WK5R from WK5OMR on AM. All right, there, Jeff. Well, the uh, the uh, the Viking uh, there. Uh, what was that? A Viking what? The Viking twice. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Which Viking transmitter was that? Uh, the Viking twice. The Viking two. One two. Over over. Oh, Viking two. Okay, I didn't get that when you said twice, but I did the second time. Okay, yeah, being excited by the uh, 2000. Uh, it's uh, working good there, and you're, you're dead, right, dead on uh, zero, zeroed in on it, sir. So that sounds good there. All right, who else for the Bonackers Unlimited? Alpha Golf 5 X-Ray Papa. Alpha Golf 5 X-Ray Papa, go ahead. Yeah, this is Kenneth in Brownwood, Central Texas. Got a Kenwood TS-530. Got a Heathkit 2040 tuner. And a Helicopter's HD-33A amplifier. Everything's operated by a D-104 microphone. Going out of G-5 RB antenna. Back to net. Roger. Well, the uh, uh, 530, I think it was you said there, sounds good. I appreciate and, uh, it. The old helicopter uh, amplifier is doing its job. Yeah, I got to run about 700 watts. Just cruising along. All right, who else for the Bonehackers Unlimited come now? K0SED. K0SED. Hello, Steve. Well, good afternoon, Rusty, and everybody out in Boat Anchor Land. K0, SCD, and Tyler. Tonight I'm on the Kenwood 520. I'm going to call it 30L1 to pull up 40 odd feet, and that's about it over here. And man, I hate to hear about Felton. Not of a gun. Now there goes another one. Back to you, Rusty. K0, SCD. Yeah, well, they caught like we would, they would be back in operation in the spring, so that's what I heard. What radio are you on there, Steve? I didn't catch that at first. Uh, that kid was 520. Okay, yeah, the 520 sounds good then. Yeah, <laughs> I showed up that caller the first time. I got so many coming back at me like I blew my head up from under the headphones. So anyway, who else with Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? M5, WRX. 
Go ahead. Well, thank you. This is M5 WRX, same as Bill, located out here in Corpus Christi, Texas. Tonight I'm stuck on a Kenwood 830 that I bought from Jay. Cleaned it up a little bit, checked it out, got it on the air. Talking into a, a Kenwood MC90 microphone and put out about 50 words into a Denton uh, ML825B amplifier, which is thrown around 5, 600 watts. My dual band, 80, 40, 80 meter uh, dual band uh, dipole made by Alpha Delta. That's the story here. N5 WRX, back to this. Okay, yeah, with that uh, that particular microphone, that's more more designed for uh, VHF, but uh, uh, it's about as good as you're going to get it with that. Now, it would sound a whole lot better with a, uh, more like an MC50 and MC60 or a uh, uh, one of the sure 444Ds uh, would sound better, but it's working. Rusty, you're and, mistaken. Uh, we've heard that on radio many times over at uh, uh, Jay's house. <laughs> so, okay, appreciate you checking in there, Bill, and we'll catch you next time. Who else is Bone Anchors Unlimited now? Come now. Contact. Go ahead, Jay. The MC90 is a uh, full spectrum microphone. It uh, was made to go with the 990. It works fine on HF. It didn't. It, it sounded like it was pitched up or something. I couldn't tell. Yeah, it was terrible. What was going on? Uh, you might have been a little close to it, uh, Bill. I couldn't. I wasn't listening. I had my head turned, but uh, but anyway. Okay, I'll, I'll give it back to you, Rusty. KM5QS. All right, Jay. I was thinking there was one of those that was designed for the VHF, but I don't know which one it was. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyway, who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? Anybody else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? KB0 UOZ. Well, you read my mind, Perry. I was fixing the heart. You see if you'd fell asleep up there. Go ahead. Yeah, I agree. Uh, no, I, I, matter of fact, I tried to check in once uh, uh, early on your shift there, but uh, I didn't make it. I figured, <laughs> I figured, well, your neighbors took me out. I, I, oh, well, um, uh, we're, we're, we're kind of like some of the guys uh, with the heat deal. Uh, uh, we're on a heat deal, but we're on, we're on, on solid state. Uh, uh, we're, got, we're on the SB uh, 104 a and uh, tonight I fired up everything. I'm on the, using the external video phone, and, and I fired up the console and uh, uh, and and, uh, and the scope, and uh, using the little SA230 uh, uh, amplifier here. So we're punching about 500 watts uh, out to the inverted V uh, fed with 450 on wire line. Of course, we're running through a heat kit, uh, uh, 2060 uh, tuner, and using the Shure uh, uh, 450 Series 2. Uh, I, I guess that's uh, probably a, a later model uh, 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 of, uh, of the Shure microphone. Anyway, it seems to match up here pretty well. So, it's kind of a deal I thought, well, I, and I use the, uh, the World 4 sometimes, but uh, tonight I thought, well, I'll fire up these other pieces. Uh, uh, as far as I know, I've got the whole line up uh, here of, 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 of that particular model. Uh, and everything seems to be across my fingers, knock on wood, working up as it should at, the, at this time. So, anyway, that's kind of the story. Good to be on here tonight on the, uh, uh, Ham Radio's finest hour, and um, uh, uh, good to hear everybody tonight. So, thank you guys for doing that. We'll ride along to the end. KB0, you owe that. All right, Perry, the, uh, the 104 sounds good there. <laughs> Yeah, I had so many checking in at one time there, I had to wait for the stragglers to come along there. And what? I'm looking off frequency again. I know this. Hello? Hello. Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Yeah, uh, I get that talking long-winded, and that thing gets heated up and changes on me. But there it is. Yeah, I'd have to wait for the stragglers to be able to pick one out of there. Yeah, all right, who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. Yeah, I have to wait for the stragglers to be able to pick one out of there. All right, who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. Anybody else for the Bone Anchors Unlimited net? Come now. 
Well, it looks like I got to the end of my string. K5 L Y N W K5 R. Go ahead, Lance. All right, Rusty, does this uh, frequency still sound okay to you? Yeah, go for it. All right, K5LYN returning. By the way, you just mentioned something. KG7TR, Mike, who built this transmitter, and I've been talking about the fact that if you've got the VFO right there in the same place with the uh, finals of the transmitter, maybe when you talk a lot, it moves the VFO a little bit. And that's one reason I put this uh, outboard uh, VFO on here. So far, so good. Hello to Perry. You sounded great. And uh, uh, let me see. Jeff, W5OMR, your Viking 2 was really good there. Nice signal into Austin. Okay, this is K5LYN. Lynn in Austin on a cheap and easy SSB from QST1956, built in more recent times by KG7TR, and it is a beautiful piece of equipment. Who else for the net? K5LYN, listening. Kilo, Charlie 5, Lima. Hey, KC5L, talk to us, Tom. Kilo 5, Lima, Tango. Okay, let's talk to Tom, then we'll pick up Lima Tango. Hey, good evening, Lynn. Uh, Tom, KC5L in San Antonio. And uh, tonight uh, we're on the usual here, the Central Electronic 200B. And uh, that's uh, running barefoot into a balance line tuner, open wire, homebrew line, and uh, doubling up about 15 feet. And uh, microphone is C104A and C104. And uh, we're listening on an R398. So that's it uh, for this station. Uh, back to you, Lynn, AT5L. Spectacular. And you're, you're the only Central Electronics guy tonight, uh, Tom. I've got my, uh, my two over there resting while I play cheap and easy tonight. And uh, Nick came on with the Collins instead of his Central Electronics. So you're the main man tonight, over. Well, I guess someone's got to carry the flag for Central Electronics. Uh, so I'm happy to uh, <laughs> happy we have at least uh, at least one person on the net tonight. Very well uh, done. Yeah, we haven't uh, had have K5HPG Hugh on his 28 tonight either, uh, so we'll keep listening. All right. Hey, Lyle, LT, talk to us. How about it? K5LYN. Uh, good evening, Lynn. Everyone else on the net. Name here is Lyle, Lima, Yankee Lima Echo. Uh, located just outside of Bernie, Texas, about 30-some-odd miles north of San Antonio. Uh, running the Heath Kid equipment tonight. Got the Heath Kid SB-101 running. Going through the Heath Kid, Heath Kid SB-221 amp. Through a Heath Kid tuner, out through the antenna, through the cedar trees. And uh, everybody's sounding good tonight. I've uh, been off hiding for the past couple of weeks. And uh, I haven't been around for my first night back in a while. Band sounds pretty good tonight. And uh, doing good. Had a good 4th of July. Didn't get to do a whole lot, but did shot a few fireworks and didn't hurt anybody and didn't burn the countryside off. So other than that, doing good. Back to you, Lynn. K5LT. Okay, the usual good signal. Great to hear you. Any new projects in the works on your end? Uh, nothing too in the works on my end. I got some other heat kit equipment I need to work on, but it's a, a stereo receiver. I need to get her out here. So if it gets hot enough, I can't go outside. I may need to start working on it. It's a uh, uh, AJ 141. Uh, I have to go look at the number on it. Vacuum tube by any chance? Full vacuum tube on everything. Okay, very cool. Keep us posted on the project. I've got uh, a couple of old vacuum tube amps around here myself. Uh, have fun with it. All right, who else for the boat anchors? K5LYN calling and listening. Yep, W5DK. W5DK, uh, yeah. Hey, good evening, Lynn, everybody. Name here is Don, Dangerous Don, Delta Oscar, November. And Spring Branch, north of San Antonio, a little bit west of, uh, east of Lyle, a little bit north of Tom. I wanted to call out Tom about uh, NKK's estate sale, so don't run off, Tom. And the station here, the usual, again, uh, Drake PR4 with an L4 amp and going out to a double extended ZEP. I'm using one of those shiny D104s myself. Uh, have been missing out a couple of weeks now, so just checking back in. Glenn, uh, you might want to check with Tom or somebody about uh, that estate sale here in San Antonio going on. Hey, 
John, it's KC5L. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Uh, I got the email from uh, the uh, San Antonio Radio Club. You all send me an email about it. All right, we'll, we'll try to muster it up. Uh, actually, uh, the, the, the silent key, his name was John Hunt. Make sure I got it. Uh, he had my full initials on his suffix, uh, W5 Delta Kilo Kilo. So my call is just a le- one digit short, one letter short. Man, he was an awesome uh, gentleman, and he's got a bunch of uh, older stuff, so... If, uh, we'll, we'll try to share this. I'm not sure when that date is. I think it's uh, in a week or two. Okay, Don, we'll keep me posted on that, will you? Yeah, well, I'll figure it out. We'll jump back in here. Thank you, Tom. Appreciate it. W5DK. Okay, back yeah, you sound good in Austin. And by the way, I've got a piece of Drake equipment. Well, I've got two pieces of Drake on the air. I'm listening on the Drake 2B, and I've got a Drake RV3 VFO on my cheap and easy SSB, so I'm doing some Drake tonight, too. All right, who else for the net? K5LYN calling and listening. Whiskey Delta 5, Alpha Delta Charlie. ADC, yes, sir. Talk to us. Rick? Good evening, Lynn, and everybody on the net. This is Rick, WD5 ADC, down in Arlington, Texas. And I'm on the uh, GSB 100 tonight, the Drake 2B receiver, a uh, D104 microphone, and a 3001 amp, and do an inverted D up about 30 feet, and that's just about it. Well, there's a lot of us with Drake 2Bs on, including me, <laughs> tonight. But you're GSB 100. You're the only one that ever has one. It's such a pleasure to hear it. Over. Well, I've got to keep it exercised. Uh, it doesn't like it when I don't. And uh, like I told you, I went back to the, uh, got rid of the solid state and went back to the tubes. And I've just got to uh, bring them up on a variac. Uh, so it does. You don't have that kapunk, which is what I think takes them out. That surge. And I also have a fan on them to cool it. Well, you know, a lot of people have solid stated the Collin test line power supplies, and a lot of people have had them fail. My 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 Collins has still got its vacuum tubes in it. Uh, there's there's reasons not to rock the boat. Over. Yeah, I converted my Collins uh, power supply to. Uh, uh, solid state, and I think that was a mistake because the voltages are way too high. Yeah, yeah, WB5TXW, his uh, low voltage uh, supply went up to well, well over, uh, like, close to 400 volts because the resistor in there that was supposed to keep it down uh, shorted and uh, blew out a whole bunch of stuff. So I, I'm sticking with the two. I don't like that at all. No, this is totally... Uh, uh, a aftermarket board, no tubes, nothing is original except the transformer and the, uh, the choke. Sounded great. Anything else for the net, Rick? No, not a thing. Uh, oh, one thing. And uh, they're just throwing this out there. Maybe somebody's got one, but I'd like a, for this GSB-100, I'd like a, a meter that has a light in it. Now, this one doesn't. Yeah, I think it's one of the earlier ones, but I'm looking for a meter that's lit. Well, send me a picture if you have time. Okay. I'll do that. Okay. All right. Moving on. Did somebody else have a comment while uh, Rick and I were talking? Yes, sir. Go ahead, Jay. Uh, Solid state the Collins power supply and bring it up with the Variac so your voltage doesn't go nuts. Well, but see, when when you solid state that low voltage supply, you've got to put a resistor in there to get the voltage back down. And what happened on George's, uh, <laughs> that resistor quit being a resistor, and the voltage shot up. And and who, who how would you know without a meter on it? <laughs> okay. Yeah, burned down a lot of stuff downstream, but we fixed it. <laughs> anyway, uh, all right. Who else for the net? K5LYN. Well, uh, I might have shot my wad here. It's 8, 14, or 15 or so. Let me pass it around and see if anybody else wants to talk. Jay, pick it up. K5LYN. All right. We'll take another shot at it. There might be one or two. Uh, although we've already had 29 check-ins, so uh, pretty good. 
close. It's not our maximum, but it's pretty close. So, that being said, this is Jay, KM5QS. This is the Boat Anchors Unlimited. Who have we not talked to yet that would like to check in? Come now, please. KL7, KL7, Charlie Johnson. Can anybody hear him better than me? Well, it was Mike, KL7CD, but somebody better pick him up better than me. Rusty, can you hear Mike? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mike, uh, try it again. Okay, all right, Rusty. Kilo Lima 7, Charlie Delta. I got you. Go ahead, Mike. Okay, thanks for picking me up, Rusty. You know, it's weird, though. Uh, the last two or three times I've been on from uh, Rio Dosa, New Mexico, uh, you're the one that heard the effect. And I, I wouldn't have thought it would make much difference between uh, you and Jay. But I know Aaron's got a noise problem. Anyway, I'm running the old Icon 701 tonight. And I got the uh, GSC 201 amplifier. Uh, Dipo up about 40 feet. And a pine tree here. And we had high temperatures for we had those in New Mexico today, unusually high. They got up to about 90 degrees, 9-0. But the humidity was 15%, 1-5%. So you can sit out on the patio. As long as you're not in the sun, you can sit out on the patio. Uh, you don't need a fan or anything, and it's uh, still fairly comfortable. Anyway, that's what's happening here, Rusty. I'll send it back to that KL7, Charlie Jones, the 73. Okay, Mike. Yeah, the uh, IC701 and the uh, Gonza GSB201 uh, are sounding good there. Okay. Uh, uh, who had it? Was that you, Jay, or was that uh, Lynn that was talking? No, I was, that was me. Okay, back to you, Jay. All righty. Okay, folks, uh, anyone else out there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now, please. Well, I'm going to try this N5JJI and see if I'm on frequency. What was the call again? November 5, Juliet, Juliet, India. Oh, well, go ahead, Ann. Okay. Well, I'm on the the uh, Yazu FC901 DM tonight, and I've got a problem with the, the receive and transmit tracking one another, so I kept my mouth shut until the end here, but... Uh, and it's straight, uh, straight out of the Yazoo and into a inverted V up about 50 feet. Well, you're making it down here. Uh, uh, and that's, that's uh, all that counts right now, I guess. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you for checking in, Ed. And we'll see you next week, maybe. Maybe you get your problem fixed up and uh, be back to normal. Or whatever normal. I don't know what normal is anymore. Uh, thanks, Ed. Anyone else for the boat anchors uh, before we wind her down? WDG. WDG, go ahead, sir. Howdy, howdy. Just checking in real quick. Got the uh, TS-575 up. I'm sorry, got what? Got the TS, sorry, the TS-520 fired up here tonight, so we're just, uh, just checking in for the count. Oh, okay. Well, it sounds good. Sound like a, sound like a real radio. <laughs> um, I'm just kidding. Load my camera. Roger, Roger. Didn't fire up the amp in time, but uh, forgot to plug it in. So. Anyway, thanks for picking me up, uh, Jay. Oh, hard later. KC5, WBG, McAllen. Good deal. Um, uh, Rusty, uh, or what's your, I just got handed something, so I've got to, uh, I've got to get off here for a bit. KM5 QS. Okay, Jay. We'll uh, catch you later. I don't know what that noise is. Weird sounding. Okay. Yeah, that's what it was. <laughs> I was getting into another radio. Now that's better. All right. This is WK5R. Who else for the Low Anchors Unlimited? Come now. Anybody else want to check in for the Bone Anchors Unlimited net? Come now. I 
Uh, well, we may have gotten them all there. I can't get any more. Uh, just a thought on why I'm always hearing uh, Mike and uh, uh, Jay and Lynn or not. I got two series. Either I'm at the second hop and the one hop is first hop is in between them, or takeoff angle with Mike being up at such an altitude out there, he might be shooting over them. Who you knows? <laughs> anyway, back to you then. There, uh, I guess you take your turn. If Jay's not there, then I'll finish it up. K5 LYN WK5 R. Okay, Rusty, very well done all the way around. Yeah, this is K5LYN. I'm fixing to go get with the YL and watch a little Vincent Price on uh, TV here tonight. So anybody need to talk to me before I do that? K5LYN, listen. Okay, I'm out. Y'all 73s, what fun it was. Over to you, Jay. Uh, we'll see you all around. K5LYN. Okay, Lynn. Yeah, I had, um, my wife came back here and handed me supper, and she, uh, she, uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, <laughs> kind of whatever. All right, last call. Anyone that I've missed that wants to talk to us, come now real quick. And if not, we're going to say thank you. Nothing heard, so we appreciate all 32 people that checked in this evening. Of course, that includes net control. So, you know, we had, um, well, I guess that, well, anyway. Pretty good night. Everybody sounded real good. Uh, most of y'all sounded real good. Everybody sounded good. And uh, just glad I made it through another one. Uh, sorry about Belton. They expect to do it again in the spring. So we'll see what happens. Maybe there will be something to let them in and they'll change their minds, but I wouldn't count on it. So, 7 3. God bless. Stay safe. And uh, keep a good thought. Treat your neighbors good, like you like them, whether you do or not. Cam 5 QS. Audio. Thank you, Jay. Yeah, we'd like to thank everybody for checking in, because uh, without y'all checking in, uh, me and Jay and Lynn, uh, we couldn't do this. We know what it takes to keep these things up and running. So appreciate everybody checking in. We'll look for you again next week. Until then. This is WK5R, now closing the Bodeckers Unlimited net and return the frequency to normal amateur abuse.